Good evening, everyone. And welcome to Bendixfield. Tonight, the Blue Sox will face the Bells. The first place Bells sit at 60-36. The second place Blue Sox have a 51-45 record. Head to head, Racine has won 18 of 30 from South Bend. Game time temperature is 66 degrees. Under clear skies. The wind is blowing right to left at 9 miles per hour. It's time for baseball. Catherine Bennett will get the call tonight for the Blue Sox. He has a record of 14-13 with a 2.57 ERA. In 252 innings he's struck out 38. The right-hander throws from the three-quarters slot. Bennett is fifth in saves in the Ahij Blue with zero. The catcher Baker gets into his crouch. As Madeline English digs into hit for Racine. Bennett gets the sign. The wind-up and the pitch. And the first pitch of this ball game is a ball. The 1-0. English swings. Tapped in front of the plate. But it's a foul ball. Here's the pitch. Swung on. And poked into the crowd, right side. He'll have to shorten his swing with two strikes. Bennett kicks and fires. Swung on. Fastball pulled foul. The count is 1-2 on the hitter. Bennett into the windup. He kicks and fires. English swings. Pulled on the ground to third. Up with it is Holly. And he throws him out. Stepping in is Edith Perlick. He is second in RBI with 52, third in stolen bases with 75, and third in runs scored with 59. Bases empty, one out. Bennett wheels and deals. Swung on. Perlick hits a looper. Down the line in shallow right. Floor right coming in on it slowly. And he reaches up for the catch. Sophie Curay steps in. He's looking to improve on his .271 average. None on, two out. Bennett studies the sign. Nods. The wind up and the pitch. Strike called. His catcher asked for a fastball. And Bennett obliged. The count is 0-1. Two out. From the wind-up. Bennett delivers. Curay swings. And bends it foul over the press box. The count is 0-2. Two. two down. Bennett looks in. Wants a new sign. Now he's ready. The wind-up and the pitch. Curay swings. Knuckled over the infield. Down the line to short left. And Kureis gets a base hit. Here's Eleanor Dapkus. He's hitting .201 this year. With 7 home runs and 50 runs batted in. He's gone 25 for 109 against South Bend. Bennett throws to first. Grace is back safely. The runner at first takes his lead with two out. Bennett from the stretch. The pitch. Grace, running. Fastball misses inside. The throw to second. He's out. Grace is hung out to dry. Baker has gone down 39 of 170 base stealers. That retires the side. No runs. One hit, no errors. Nobody left on. Making the start tonight for the Bells, Mary Nesbitt. He's 21 and 10 with a 2.38 ERA. Opponents are batting .215 against him. Nesbitt is first in wins in the Ahij Blue with 21, 
second in innings with 275.2, and fifth in saves with zero. Josephine D'Angelo, the leadoff hitter, steps in. He's hitting .232. With three home runs and 21 runs batted in. Nesbitt into the windup. And the pitch. Knuckleball from the southpaw. Ball one. Nesbitt looks in. Turns on the rubber. And pitches. D'Angelo swings. Big lazy pop fly. On the infield. Giving chase is grace. And he has it. So Josephine is a fly ball out. That brings up Lois Florike. He's just 16 years old. Hitting .252 this year. With 7 home runs. The lefty deals. Swung on. Sent in the air. To center. It has some carry. Shilas is after it. And he tucks it away for the out. Here's Betsy Jockham. He is fourth in batting average at .275. The one to Nesbitt to Jockham. Swung on and missed. Nesbitt put some oomph behind that fastball. The sides retired. 1-2-3 go the Blue Sox. Here's Eleanor Dapkus. He's hitting .201. With 7 dingers. And 50 RBI. Leg kick and a pitch. Swung on. Sky. Toward deep center field. D'Angelo goes back. And he reaches out to catch it. The next batter is Claire Shilas. He's hitting .253. With no home runs and 32 RBI. The pitch from the right-hander. Shilas swings. And he lines it. To center. D'Angelo on the move. And he gets there for the put out. And here is Dorothy Wind. He's gone 19 for 98 against South Bend. A .194 average. Bennett sends it in. Ball 4. And Bennett loses that mini battle with Wind. Bennett kicks and deals. McGuire swings at it. Hit in the air. Way up there. Out toward left. Jockham angles under it. Now he has to backpedal. And he extends to make the catch. That's the inning. The Bells get a walk but nothing else. Margaret Stefani steps in. He's batting .219. With 4 home runs and 48 runs batted in. Nesbitt kicks and fires. The swing. Hit in the air. To center. Shilas back on it. And he reaches up to grab it. Up to bat is the catcher Mary Baker. The Regina. Saskatchewan native is hitting .213. With one, home run and 31 RBI. The pitch. Swung on. Lifted in the air to center. No problem for Shilas. As he wraps the leather around it. Johanna Hageman steps in. He's batting .229 this year. With no home runs and 39 RBI. The count is full. The southpaw winds. And fires. Fast ball low, ball 4. That's the first blemish for Nesbitt today. Hitting is Dorothy Schroeder. Quick throw to first. 
Hageman can't get back. He's out. The inning's over. No runs, hits, or errors. And none left on. Up to bat is Margaret Danoser. He's hitting .209. With no home runs and 18 runs batted in. The right-hander delivers. Danoser swings. Crack to shallow left center field for a base hit. Bennett with a quick peek at Danoser. He peers in for his sign. Sets. And delivers. Nesbitt shows bunt. He makes contact. Near the mound. Bennett gets it. Hard throw to second. And he's out. Aggressive play by Bennett. One gone in the top of the third. Bennett is into his stretch. Checks the runner at first. Here's the pitch. There goes Nesbitt. On the outside corner, strike one. Quick throw to second. Safe. Nesbitt stole that base off Bennett. He got a tremendous jump. Nesbitt has now stolen 11 bases this season. Getting set to hit is English. There's one out. 0 oh, 2 the count on English. Bennett stretches. Glances back at Nesbitt. Kicks and deals. English swings. Bouncer to the left side. Handled by Holly. Quick throw to first. And he's right on the money for the out. Here's Edith Perlick. Back in the first inning. He flied out to the right fielder. Full count. The stretch, the pitch. Swung on. Ground ball. Toward the hole, left side. Holly to his left. He hustles it over to first. And Edith is the final out. The third inning's over for Racine. The Bells get nothing and leave one. Nesbitt fondles the rosin bag. As Dorothy Schroeder steps in the box. He's hitting .177 this year. With no home runs and 28 runs batted in. Nesbitt ready. The pitch. The swing. Hit on the ground. Past the pitcher. Fielded by the shortstop wind. Snap throw to first. And Schroeder is taken care of. The South Bend third baseman Mabel Holly is up to bat. The Jacksonville, Illinois native has a .247 batting average. Last of the third, one gone. The wind-up and the pitch. Holly swings. Wrapped on the ground. Past the mound. Grace leaves his feet. And spears it. He pops back up. The throw to Dan Oser. That throw is off target. Holly is safe at first. That's the 35th error for Kureis this year at second base. Nesbitt brings it. Bennett squares. Bunts it. It spins near the plate. McGuire has it. Guns it to second. And Holly is out. But not by much. Fine play by McGuire. Set to hit is Josephine D'Angelo. The count on D'Angelo is 1 and 1. The stretch, the pitch. The swing. A high fly ball. To center field and deep. Chilas is in pursuit. And he reels it in. Side retired. One error by the Bells. But the Blue Sox can't cash in. Kure settles in. His batting line, one for one. Bennett on the slab. He gets the sign from Baker. And now delivers the pitch. 
Karate swings. Line drive. To left center. It has some carry. Jockum chasing after it. But it soars over his head. It'll fall in and it'll roll. Kurace wheels past first. Jockum throws the ball back in quickly. But not in time. It's a two base hit for Kurace. Eleanor Dapku stands at the plate. Claire Shillas, the number five hitter, waits on deck. Bennett stretches. Checks Kurace. Kicks and deals. Swung on. Flared. Out to shallow center field. In comes D'Angelo. But he can't make the play. He had it for a second. Then dropped the ball. D'Angelo bungles an easy catch. Taking third is Kurace. Claire Shillas digs in. A count of one and two on Shillas. Bennett gets set. The pitch. Running is Dapkus. Strike three called. Clara is gone. The throw to second. Out. Baker has caught 40 base stealers in 172 tries. Wind is up. Bennett working from the stretch. Here's the 3-0 pitch. A half swing by wind. The appeal. And the ump signals no swing. Wind walks on 4 straight. McGuire is up to bat. The catcher Baker goes into the squad. Flashes the sign. Now Bennett delivers. McGuire swings. Hits softly in the air. Out toward short left center. Jockum strides in. Also converging is D'Angelo. But Jockum calls him off. And Jockum with the catch. The Racine fourth is over. The Bells get nothing and Strand appear. The score remains Bells nothing Blue Sox nothing. The batter up is Lois Florike. Lois is hitless so far. Oh one the count to Florike. And here's the pitch. Florike with a swing. Lifted. To shallow center field. Shillas coming on for it. And it'll be hauled in. Betsy Jockum to hit next. Down on strikes his last at bat. Nesbitt gets the sign. Readies and fires. Jockum swings. Slow tapper. Toward the mound. Nesbitt has it. The throw to first. And the throw gets him. Now Stefani comes up. Today he's 0 for 1. The pitch by Nesbitt. Swung on. Hit in the air. The right fielder Dapkus is right there. And he puts it away. That retires the side. The Blue Sox go scoreless in the frame. Here's Margaret Dano sir. He reached on a base hit in the third. Bennett with the 3-0 offering. Ball 4. Lead off walk for Dano sir. Mary Nesbitt is up. He shares a brief moment of levity with Baker. But now it's all business. All square here at Bendix Field in the fifth. The stretch, the pitch. Nesbitt squares. And bunts it. Down to first. In to grab it Hageman. The throw to first, Stefani there to cover. Not in time. Over to second goes Dano sir. Madeline English stands in. Bennett starts his motion. The offering. 
English squares. Bunts it. Toward the pitcher. Bennett fields it. The throw over to first. And he's out. The Racine manager comes out to argue the call. He might as well save his breath. The ump isn't about to change his mind. Sacrifice hit for English. Dan Oser heads to third. Up to second goes Nesbitt. Up next is Perlick. The 2-0 pitch. Swung on. Line shot. Toward the gap in deep right center. Back on it is floor right. And he catches it, sliding. Tagging, Dan Oser. Long throw toward home. Dan Oser slides head first. And he's in safely. Taking third is Nesbitt. Sophie Correz comes up to bat. He's two for two. With a double in the fourth. Here comes the two one. Correz swings. Poked weakly. Down the line to shallow left field. It's twisting. Jockham on the run. And he makes a nice running catch. That's the inning. One run, one hit, no errors. A runner left on. The bells jump out in front 1-0. Mary Baker steps in. Zero for one at the plate. Here's the pitch. Baker with a swing. Tap down the line. McGuire charges. Fields it. And fires to first to retire Baker. The hitter is Hageman. He reached on a base on balls his last time up. Nesbitt brings the 2-1. Swung on. Grounded. Up the line. Handled by the first baseman Dan Oser. He'll step on the bag. And Hageman is out. Dorothy Schroeder to bat with nobody on. 0-2 the count with two outs. Nesbitt starts the wind-up. Pitches. Schroeder swings. Well hit. To center field. Shilas gives chase. And he reaches up, makes the catch. Inning over. Three up, three down for South Bend. The score is still 1-0, bells over the Blue Sox. Eleanor Dapus gets first dibs against Bennett in the sixth. Bennett winds. And throws. Dapus swings. Slow bouncer toward the mound. Bennett has it. The throw to Hageman. And Dapus is out. That'll bring up the right-hand hitting center fielder Claire Shilas. Set down on strikes his last time up. Shilas waits on the 3-2. Here it is. Got him swinging. An anemic swing from Shilas on a fastball. Catherine Bennett notches strikeout number two. That will bring up wind. Bennett walked him in the fourth. Bennett winds up. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Swung on. Hit solidly. To right center field. Floor right following it. He loses his cap. But makes the catch. That retires the side. No runs, hits, or errors. And nobody left on base. The Bells still have the lead 1-0. The Blue Sox bat in their half of the sixth. Here's Mabel Holly. He's 0 for 1, to this point. 1 to pitch coming. Holly swings. Hit on the ground back up the middle. Tough play for wind. The throw to Dan Oser. And he's out. Terrific effort at both ends. Bennett, the pitcher, is next. The pitch. That's ball four. A fast ball outside. And now Josephine D'Angelo will hit. The count is zero and one. Check of the runner Bennett. And now the pitch. D'Angelo swings. Line drive. To left. It's in there, a base hit for D'Angelo. Taking second is Bennett. 
the Blue Sox finally get into the hit column. Lois Florike is set to hit. McGuire flashes the sign. Nesbitt sets and delivers. The swing. Line to center. A clean single for Flash. Taking third Bennett. Taking second D'Angelo. Bennett heads for home. The throw to the plate. And he's safe. Game is now tied 1-1. On a run scoring single by Lois Florike. The Blue Sox tie it up 1-1. Betsy Jockham steps in. Now 0 for 2. After he grounded out to Nesbitt in the 4th. In comes the 0-2. The swing. Ground ball. Wide of the mound. Dan Oser grabs it. Hurries a throw to 2nd for 1. Wind slings it back to 1st. Too late, he's safe. Jockham, with hustle, prevents the double play. Moving to 3rd is D'Angelo. Next is Margaret Stefani. He's hitless to this point. Runners at first and third with two outs. Nesbitt from the stretch. The pitch. Jockham is running. Fast ball, called a ball. McGuire throws down to second. And he's safe. Jockham picks up his 51st stolen base on the season. There's two down. Two to the count. Nesbitt comes to the set position delivers. Fouled into the catcher's mid for strike three. He's down on strikes. Two strikeouts now for Nesbitt. Side retired. One run on two hits, no errors. Two runners left on. The score is now Blue Sox 1, Bells 1. The Lagrange Ohio, native is next. Dorothy McGuire. He flied out in the fourth. Bennett checks the sign. Now he's got one he likes. The wind-up and the pitch. Swung on. Little flare. To center field. D'Angelo after it. And he reaches up to snag it. Dan Oser hits next. Bennett walked him in the fifth. The one-strike pitch. Dan Oser swings. Grounder. To the left side. And it's into left field. Dan Oser is around first. But he'll hold on right there. The corners are drawn in. Check of the runner. The pitch. Smith breaks for second. Nesbitt takes a sinker knee high on the outside corner. Baker fires to second. Smith slides, he's safe. Smith is 47 for 53 in stolen bases this season. Substitution. Pinch running at second, Charlotte Smith. Mary Nesbitt settles in. So far he's one for two at the plate. To set up the double play possibility. The Blue Sox will walk Nesbitt. Two on for Racine with one out. Bennett looks at the runners. Stretches. Wheels and fires. Smith takes off for third. Sinker. Ball one. The throw to third. Safe. Smith really feeling his oats there. Smith is now 48 of 54 in stolen base attempts. Bennett with the move to first. The tag, out. Bennett throws the 1-2. English swings. Line drive. Down the line to short left field. After it is Jockham. It's just inside the line. Jockham will chase it down. Smith scores for Racine. Jockham has it. The relay. English slides. The tag. And he's safe. English picks up a double. English with an RBI double. The score is to one. Bells up. Perlick steps up. Taps the plate a couple of times. With the business end of his bat. At bat in the fifth. With runners on second and third. He hit a sacrifice fly. 
There's two out for Racine. Bennett steps off and looks English back to second. Now he comes set again. The pitch. Perlick swings. Hit on the ground. Through the box. Stefani with a diving lunge. Smothers it. Back to his feet, sets. Snap throw to first. But it's wide of the mark. Stefani will be given a well-deserved error. Perlick will be awarded second. As the ball sails into the dugout. Into score comes English. Now Kuretis will take his hacks. Up to bat in the fifth. With a runner on third. He flied out. For the game, two for three. Three to the count. Bennett is set. Here comes the pitch. Struck him out. Kuretis slaps the top of his helmet. Knowing he swung at ball four. Catherine Bennett has struck out three this game. Side retired. Two runs score for Racine. The Bells now lead South Bend 3-1. Time for the home fans to get up on their feet. Baker hopes to kickstart a rally for the Blue Sox. Here in the bottom of the seventh. He was a ground ball out his last time. Zero for two overall. Nesbitt winds up. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Swung on. Grounded to third. English fields it on a hop. And guns it to Hunter for the out. Now Nesbitt will square off against Johanna Hageman. 3-1 is the score. The bell's on top. Leg kick and the pitch. Hageman swings. A line drive. To short center. It drops in for a hit. Check of the runner. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Schroeder was all sorts of tied up on that swing. Mary Nesbitt has fanned three this game. Now. Mabel Holly. He grounded out to the shortstop wind. Back in the sixth. The Blue Sox bat with one on and two outs. Nesbitt from the stretch. Deals. Holly swings. Ground ball. Left side. Taken in by English. The throw to second. And they got him. Side retired in the home seventh. Nothing on one hit for South Bend. The Bells remain in front 3-1. Here's Eleanor Dapkus. For the game, 0 for 3. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Put in the air. Opposite field. Floor right streaks after it. The ball skips to the fence. Dapkus is making the turn at second. Floor right collects the ball. The relay. Dapkus slides. And they don't get him, he's safe. Dapkus has himself a triple. Next up is Claire Shilas. So far in this one, 0 for 3. The pitch. Shilas swings. A broken bat looper. Toward short right center field. Charging hard is Floor Reich. Also in pursuit is D'Angelo. But Floor Reich calls him off. And he brings it in. Stepping in to hit is Dorothy Wind. 0 for 1 after flying out to Floor Reich in the 6th. 1 out for Racine with the runner on 3rd. From the stretch. Bennett looks at the runner. And fires home. Swung on. Tapped. In front of the plate. Baker out to make the play. He wings it to 1st. And Wind is cut down. Dorothy McGuire is set to hit. Flied out to D'Angelo in center his last at bat. 
for the game, 0 for 3. Runner on third with 2 out. Bennett in the set position. Glances at Dapkuz. Kicks and deals. The swing. Lined squarely. Out to right centerfield. It falls in for a hit. Dapkus scores. McGuire has an RBI single. The Bells extend their lead to 4-1. Dorothy Hunter bats next. 20 for 68 against South Bend, a .294 average. Racine has a runner on first with two down. From the stretch, the pitch. McGuire on the move. Change up strike. Hunter started to swing. But the pitch was right in there. Baker fires to second. Bad throw, it sails into the outfield. McGuire goes to third base. Hunter waiting on the 1-2. Here it is. Swung on. Hard drive. To right center, carrying. D'Angelo in pursuit. Near the track. The ball bounces off the fence. Hunter charges around second. D'Angelo retrieves it. Here's the relay from Stefani. Hunter goes in head first. And he's safe. A triple for Hunter. McGuire comes in to score. The Bells score one on the Hunter three bagger. The Bells up their lead. It's 5-1. Mary Nesbitt is up to bat. Man on third with two out. Bennett from the stretch. Deals. Nesbitt swings. A firm ground ball. Right side. Hageman handles it. He'll rush to the base. And Nesbitt is out. Middle of the eighth at Bendix Field. Racine scores two runs on three hits. The Bells now lead the Blue Sox, 5-1. The leadoff hitter for South Bend is Catherine Bennett. Last at bat Nesbitt walked him. The 2-0 pitch. Bennett swings. Swept toward second. Kureis is up with it. And sends it to first for the out. In the box now is D'Angelo. He singled to left his last at bat. One to count. The wind up. And Nesbitt fires. D'Angelo swings. He slaps a ground ball. Toward third base. Fielded by the third baseman English. The throw to first. And Josephine D'Angelo grounds out. Up to bat, Floor Reich. One for three so far. With a run scoring single in the sixth. Two out in the home eighth. Nesbitt is ready to go. The wind up and the delivery. Swung on. Chopper to short. Wind fires across the diamond to Hunter for the out. And Floor Reich will circle back to the dugout. The eighth is over at Bendix Field. Clean inning for the Bells. The score remains 5 1 in favor of the Bells. The Bells and Blue Sox go to the ninth. The batter up for Racine will be Madeline English. He gave Racine a lead in the seventh. When he stroked a run scoring double. Bennett delivers. The swing. Hit slowly to the right side. Bennett is over to field it. The throw over to first. And that's the first out of the inning. Edith Perlick steps in to face Bennett. Reached base thanks to an error. Back in the seventh. One out in the ninth. Bennett with the wind up. He rocks back. Wheels and fires. Perlick swings. Ground ball to the left side. Holly makes a clean pickup. The throw to Hageman. And Perlick makes the second out in the ninth. Here's Kureis. Going two for four so far. Bennett from the wind up. The two to delivery. Swung on. A weak, sinking fly ball. To short right. Base hit, Kureis. Here's Dapkus. A big stick in the Bells lineup. One for four. With a triple in the eighth. Now the pitch. Kureis is running. Ball four. A good professional at bat ends in a base on balls for Dapkus. Kureis takes second. Bennett issues his fifth walk. Chilas comes up with two on. He flied out to right center last time up. From the stretch. Bennett with the one to pitch. Chilas swings. Hit on a line. To right center. It drops in for a base hit. Kureis goes to third. Dapkus takes second on the play. 
Grace is going home. The throw made toward home. And he's safe. Claire Chalas delivers the RBI single. That makes it 33 RBI now for Claire Chalas. The score is now 6-1, Vels. Wind at bat. Dorothy so far is 0 for 2. 2 to count on wind. From the stretch. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Soft line drive. Toward short. Schroeder reaches out. And he has it. Schroeder was right where he needed to be. The inning's over. The Bells pick up a run on two hits and a walk. Two runners left on. The Bells build their lead. It's 6-1. Last lick for the Blue Sox. Here's the left fielder Betsy Jockham. Back in the sixth. With runners on first and second. He grounded out. Jockham, that cock waits. And here's the pitch. Ball four. Jockham walks to lead off the inning. Nesbitt has walked three. Here's Margaret Stefani. At bat in the sixth. With runners on second and third. He struck out. In the game, zero for three. The delivery. Stefani swings. Grounder to the left side. English corrals it. Quick throw to second, out there. But there's no relay. Jockham wipes Grace out at second. Proving that baseball is still a contact sport. Mary Baker steps up to the plate. He grounded out to the third baseman. His last at bat in the seventh inning. So he's zero for three. There's one out. The count is one and two. Nesbitt at the belt. The pitch. Got him swinging with the old number one. Hageman takes his time digging in. The Blue Sox are down to their final out. From the stretch. The pitch. Swung on. A line shot. Out toward center field. After it is Shilas. And he has it for the out. This one's a wrap. The Bells down the Blue Sox, 6-1.